The Best Things to Do in Westchester County This Summer Reliable, relaxing, and often right on time, trains can get you to any of these scenic winter locations, whether it be for a weekend getaway or an extended week. Off Metro looks at the best destinations NYC-based travelers can reach by riding on the rails. 1. Syracuse, New York. Upstate New York offers travelers both a sporty and urban experience. Syracuse offers an active option in skiing in the form of Toggenberg Mountain, with 22 slopes to choose from and a popular restaurant called the Foggy Goggle, perhaps aptly named after its flushed visitors coming after a hard day of skiing. If skiing is not your forte, fear not this Destiny USA will have you covered. A trip to Syracuse would not be complete without a visit to the original dinosaur barbecue. Sink your teeth into a rack of St. Louis pork ribs, glazed in the restaurant's signature barbecue sauce. If you're not up for something that heavy, or if it isn't dinner time yet, pay a visit to the musical-themed Funkin' Waffles, which boasts both sweet and savory variations of the Belgian pastry delight as well as live music. Once you've had your fill, settle down at the Marriott Syracuse Downtown Hotel, located smack in the middle of the town. The hotel boasts a long and rich history of almost 100 years, and now has been refurbished to look its finest for a hundred more. How to get there Amtrak provides daily service to Syracuse. The trip from Penn Station takes around five and a half hours. 2. Mystic, Connecticut. Nestled in the depths of Connecticut, Mystic has a lot to offer in terms of sights and attractions. The historic downtown Mystic Street parallels the riverbank and invites visitors to take a leisurely stroll down the scenic waterfront. Stop by the Mystic Seaport Museum to observe its nautical history or the old Mystic Village to see its inland history. Mystic Pizza, made famous by the film of the same name, is a staple for travelers. Build your own pizza to satisfy your Instagram followers before satisfying your hunger. If you're in the mood for seafood, try the options at the Riverfront Red 36 Bar and Grill, or the Chapter 1 Food and Drink, and sink your teeth into raw oysters or seafood paella. Downtown Mystic also offers a selection of inns that will please weary travelers, such as the Whalers Inn and the Steamboat Inn, both facing the water. If you want something a bit more reserved, try the Inn at Mystic, with its breathtaking views of the harbor on a secluded estate while still being in the middle of downtown Mystic. How to get there? Amtrak is the only train service to stop at Mystic. The journey takes around three hours from New York City. 3. Hudson, New York. Want to step back in time to the 19th century? Hudson is the place to go. The spine of the small town, Warren Street, reflects 19th century architecture and culture at its finest, with a series of row houses and Victorian buildings that dot the mile-long strip. W.M. Farmer & Sons Restaurant offers a variety of dishes for its visitors, ranging from grits and gravy to pork chops and tavern steak. Or settle for another version of comfort food at the 15-year strong Helsinki restaurant, with its selection including appetizing scallops to local huts and valley duck. If you're in the mood for Italian, C.A. Maya restaurant has you covered. W.M. Farmer & Sons also doubles as a nice lodging space if you don't want to go too far after eating your dinner. For travelers on a budget, Rivertown Lodge, a refurbished motel lodge just a mile away from the train station, is another option. How to get there? Amtrak serves Hudson through four different lines, the Empire Service, the Adirondack, the Ethan Allen Express, and the Maple Leaf. All four terminate at Penn Station, which is only a two-hour journey away. 4. Lake Placid, New York. This small village has a long and rich history in winter sports, having hosted the 1932 and 1980 Winter Olympics and the 1972 Winter Universa 8. 
cruise down the icy surface of Mirror Lake on a toboggan or a pair of skates, or immerse yourself in the legacy of the two winter games at the Lake Placid Olympic Complex and Museum. If hiking is more your forte, fear not as the beautiful peaks of the Adirondacks beckon. Lake Placid may not be known exclusively for its swings, but its local restaurants do offer up a selection that every wing enthusiast will love. Lisa G's has a separate menu section devoted to wings. The Dak Shack, meanwhile, is known for its chicken wing food truck night. Wash those wings down with craft beer from the Great Adirondack Brewing Company, which also offers its own share of wings. If you're tired from playing on Mirror Lake's ice, check into the Mirror Lake Inn, a gorgeous luxury hotel right on the lakeside, or the Golden Air Lakeside, a bigger and more amenity-packed location. If you spent the day at the Olympic Complex, Crown Plaza Resort may be a better option, considering it's smack in the heart of the complex. How to get there Amtrak used to operate a shuttle service from the nearest station of Westport, but that service has been discontinued. Instead, travelers can get off the train earlier at Saratoga Springs and take the bus to Lake Placid. The entire journey will take just under 7 hours. 5. Stow, Vermont Stow is another destination known for its winter sports. Stow Mountain Resort, nestled in the heart of Mount Mansfield, is one of the most popular ski resorts in the Northeast. Slide down the mountain in skis or a snowboard, or just observe the mountain from afar on the scenic gondola ride test your ice skating skills at the Spruce Peak Village Center where you can enjoy the free ice skating rink. Those who enjoy the taste of frozen sweetness year-round may want to visit the Ben & Jerry's factory in neighboring Waterbury. Harrison's Restaurant and Bar in the middle of the town offers some delectable dishes ranging from venison flank steak to seared sesame ahi tuna. Stowe Mountain Lodge also has its fair share of restaurants, one of the most notable ones being Solstice. Solstice has appetizing starters including cod fritters and venison tartare to entrees including an enormous 22 ounces ribeye. Stowe Mountain Resort would obviously be the go-to for skiers and snowboarders, but if you want a more reserved atmosphere, try the Stowhoff Hotel right in between the town square and the resort. Surrounded by mountain views and inspired by Austria, the hotel will give visitors both a cozy and lively experience. How to get there Amtrak's Vermonter takes you from Penn Station to Waterbury in 6 hours. From there, take the bus to Stowe, which takes about half an hour, or catch a taxi, which takes half as long. 6. Saratoga Springs, New York Saratoga Springs may be best known for its summer activities, but its winter activities also offer fun for travelers. Skiing, skating, and snowshoeing, yes, but also snowmobiling and ice fishing make up a packed arsenal of things to enjoy. You could also visit the famed Saratoga Race Course, or stop by the snow-covered Congress Park or Yotto Gardens, all open to the public free of charge. For food, stop by 15 Church around dinner time to dine on chicken under a brick or chili and sea bass. If you're a crepe aficionado, be sure to visit Ravenous Crepery, which offers a wide variety of savory and sweet options, over 20 to give you a sense of how serious they are about crepes. Or if you're in the mood for steak, Salt and Char Steakhouse lets you choose from 10 different cuts depending on your craving of the day. Once you're ready to wind down, you can check in at Saratoga's oldest operating hotel in the inn at Saratoga, or take a gamble at Saratoga Casino Hotel. Saratoga also has your more well-known hotel franchises, such as Embassy Suites and the Holiday Inn, so that you can choose from a wide range of accommodations. How to get there Saratoga Springs is served by Amtrak's Adirondack and Ethan Allen Express. The trip takes just under 4 hours from Penn Station, 